What's up guys, I'm Kaylana Lari and this is Celebrity Obsessions. This week we're obsessed with someone near and dear to all of our hearts, Selena Gomez. Let's jump into her career. Selena Gomez started with watching her mother prepare for stage productions, then she quickly jumped into cameos for Spy Kids, Game Over, and television film Walker, Texas Ranger. She also made a guest appearance in 2006 episode of Disney series Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. She also, during that series, wrote in her locker that she was in love with Cole Sprouse, <laughs> although Dylan Sprouse was her first kiss. She also produced 13 Reasons Why, Rare Beauty to be released on September 3rd at Sephora and rarebeauty.com. She also has the cooking show Selena and Chef to be released on HBO Max and film This Is The Year she produced and David Henry directed. I totally remember the episode of Sweet Life with Zach and Cody that she was on, like the promo for it and everything. Yeah, yeah. A Midsummer Night's Dream, um, the, which that was the name of the play. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that episode was really iconic because that was actually where she got her first kiss with Dylan Sprouse. So she's talked about it in interviews and I just think that's really funny that it happened on Disney Channel. And I also think it's funny that Cole Sprouts was her crush, but then she ended up kissing her brother. Like, you know, I think that's kind of funny. Or his brother. I wonder what the series of order was that? Like, did she have the crush first and then right. kiss, you know, the alternative twin or vice versa? Like, I mean, they right. both basically look the same, so. I know, is it much of a, I don't know. She's but. probably thinking in her head, oh my gosh, it's the other guy. All right, so let's jump into her relationships. <laughs> Okay, so each time Selena Gomez and I think of her past relationships, I can think of the timeline of my life, which is so crazy. It's like, we're not the same age, but I feel like I can kind of document where I was. So back with Nick Jonas, I just remember the Disney Channel games and them being together, you know, the red team. They were so cute together. And it feels like it happened yesterday, but then also like 20 years ago, because you remember, oh, I was a little kid. And then we also had Taylor Lautner and lo and behold, Justin Bieber. I mean, I think everyone who was a believer, I still am a believer, was in very much denial. I was the kid at the playground. I remember some girl telling me like, oh, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber, did you see the pictures? I was like, no, they're not dating. <laughs> I think I and cried. I'm pretty sure, I like, cried. like, for sure. <laughs> I was just in shock, the betrayal, but I mean, I love them both. I kind of got over it, got mature, thank God. She went on to date The Weeknd, and it was very surprising. I never saw that coming. I don't think any of us did either. And then her short-lived relationships and flings include Orlando Bloom, Zed, Niall Horn, and Charlie Puth. She'll always be dating Justin Bieber in my head. Dude, yeah. I know. She'll always just be dating Mary. Yeah, because that really, I feel like that relationship lasted my whole life. Does that make sense? It's yeah. not like the biggest it, it, thing. Yeah, like it lasted so long. <laughs> It's still going up. <laughs> right, but I mean, they both come out and publicly said that they yeah, went right for each other. Well, he's so married, like, so. Right, well, yeah, so it's like. Yes. Gotta give that hope up. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, yeah. Um, but after their breakup, or her breakup with Justin Bieber, I feel like she really came into her own. Um, Cause mm -hmm. you know, relationships are really hard and especially with a public breakup, that was just as like. Yeah. But Crazy. it's like, you have to also like take into the fact they're like two of the hugest stars in the yeah. world. Like you can go to any country, like people know who they are, you yeah. know? I ship honestly anyone with Selena Gomez. Cause uh, anyone she's that dates so... Selena Gomez, so lucky. I yeah. just cannot like, yeah. Honestly, that is... I will jump in that line cause she's <laughs> gorgeous and I love her. So <laughs> All right, let's jump into her style. All right, so the goddess herself, she really, you know, came through um, her time in the ent entertainment industry and throughout all of her struggles, like I just said, in her relationships or her, you know, health, um, she began to appreciate her true self and how beautiful she is, whether it's, you know, on a red carpet or she's just super natural wearing some sweats and her hair up. Um, and her style really varies. And that's one thing I really appreciate about Selena Gomez is she looks hot in basically anything that yeah. she wears. Um, I've been stalking her Instagram and I love, I don't know if you guys seen her like natural kind of wavy mm -hmm. curly yes. hair. And I'm like, girl, I am jealous of that. She kills the cozy look yeah. with like her sweatpants and like hoodie. I don't Stuff get it. It looks amazing. I don't get how girls can pull that off. I'm. I, <laughs> we literally talked about this like about, I think it was Mads Lewis last week or something. And gr the girls that can pull off, like you said, that comfy, you know, cozy look like, oh, I just woke up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I hate you, but I love you at the same time. Like I'm so jealous. 
Aside from her, you know, cozy look, she's also very sexy and she can do it in a very minimal way. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, with her, you know, wavy hair um, and her, you know, very natural makeup. But she is just gorgeous and I, like I said, I love her. Right, and another thing about Selena, red is such a good color on her. Yeah. Like when she wears red lipstick, when she wears yes. red gowns on the red carpet, she looks amazing. Like, yeah. she looks so gorgeous. Yeah. I love the fact that she's like, been a good looking like person her entire life. She looks you know, the like same. she never like went she through never like a bad aged. phase. Like leave some for the rest of us. Jeez, she <laughs> never had an ugly moment or anything. No, she really even did. When... I'm so excited to see what her beauty brand is like. What particular products it's gonna have? Because going back to what you said about her like minimalistic yeah. style and like her like natural beauty looks, I wonder if it's gonna be like centered around that. You know, so like BB creams and yeah. like you know soft bronzers. Like I'm really, I'm just really excited to like see what that, what yeah. that's gonna be about. Can't wait. Most definitely. <laughs> Singer, actress, and producer, there's nothing Selena Gomez can't do. Who are you obsessed with? Follow us at Hollywire for more of your celebrity obsessions. <laughs>